At Shell, robotics is a key enabler for the digitalization program. Robots like the EXR1 will be the automated mobile eyes and ears collecting valuable data and executing hazardous tasks. My name is Barry Mulder. I'm the leader of the Robotics Center of Expertise in Shell. The EXR1 is a mobility platform that we use in our robotics program and where robotics is a key enabler for our digitalization program being the mobile sensing platform to collect valuable data and eventually execute very hazardous tasks. Robotics today is still a remote controlled technology. We still have our operators and inspectors steering the robotics as if they are doing their tasks like today, but now from a safe distance. In the near future, we expect that machinery like that will be more automated, so autonomous execution of those tasks and in the future beyond that one, we expect them to do fully autonomous navigation, data collection and have advanced analytics diagnosing and interpreting that data as well. The current workflow is that instead of the operator walking around on the site itself, it can look through the cameras and listen through the microphones of the XR1 as if he would be walking around on the location itself. So the microphones will help the operator to identify uh, of normal noises from pumps, fans, uh, hissing sounds and the likes. Communication currently is over public 4G LTE infrastructure. You can imagine that if you want to operate or survey remote locations, that you cannot install local infrastructure yourself. So we're very happy to use public national infrastructure for that. One of the functional requirements for a robot like this is that it can charge itself. So there's no people needed to plug it in every, after every shift. In our industry, explosion safety certification is crucial to be able to operate within our facilities. The XR1 has a Zone 1 certificate, meaning we can freely use it throughout our facilities. The collaboration with EX Robotics was phenomenal. Um, EX Robotics has helped us to deliver the Sensible Mark II to Kazakhstan last year. Um, and based on those experiences, they have now developed a new version, the EXR1, which is a far more affordable machine that can be deployed in higher volumes in our industry.